What? No. No, no. We're not doing new. All right. More Stardew Valley. So what have I done? I've, I've been at this game more than I care to admit. Ooh, 64 hours. Okay, I've been playing this game a lot. Like a lot. So the last time I streamed it, I think was like a couple weeks ago. And then after that stream, I decided, mm, I'm not really feeling this game on the PC, but maybe I'll like it on the Switch. And clearly, clearly I like it on the Switch. I don't like the way that thing was hovering over delete. It's gonna cause me some anxiety. How do, why can't I pick it? Why, why is it being difficult? So this is what happens. Normally I just click stuff and then things work. Bam. So we're in fall year two. What have I done? I've done a lot. So basically I start, I bought the game on the switch, started a whole new file, started a new farm. And this is my house so far. Today is actually their uh, Halloween spirits Eve is what they call it. But basically their Halloween is today. So we'll do that. That's tonight at 10 PM. Otherwise, um, basically, yeah, this, this is my spot. Um, not much to check here. I finally upgraded the kitchen. It took me a while. I didn't feel the need to cook anything, but then people started requesting things that had to be cooked. And this is my farm. It's a little wild. I kind of like it that way. Goth girl is best girl. <laughs> you like Abigail? This is my farm. It's a little wild. It's at the end of the season now, so I kind of don't care much about what's left it's just only a few crops left now um since it's since this is actually the end of the season i probably need to start like clearing some of this out so that i can get all that hay because i'm gonna have to buy all of it now from good old marnie so yeah i've been i've been playing the game i've been playing a lot took me a while to get a horse finally got a horse you want to meet my animals so this is my coop. We've got a nega chicken. Don't know how we got that. A witch flew by one day and just planted this little bugger here. So they've been good though. They haven't been bothering the other ducks and chickens and rabbits and all that stuff. But basically at this point I've made, you know, like a good amount of money. I don't have, I'm not like rich, rich. I know how rich people can get in this game. Oh my God, button. Okay, anyway. So I'm not like rich, rich. <laughs> I know that. I know how rich they can be. I'm just kind of coasting now at this point. If I need money, then I just start selling stuff. Otherwise, I just have things collect. That's pretty much all I do. How you doing, Salmon? Goth girl's wifey. <laughs> Basically, at this point, I was starting to get a little bored because I was kind of like, what is left is there to do now that I've got my animals? They're chilling, happy, living life. Uh, Gretel recently gave birth to this little one over here. Her name is Mubby. His name? Well, they're all females in this game, so her name is Mubby. Or at least I think they're all females because they can all like give birth. You're doing okay? That's good. I'm glad you're doing okay. Let everybody out. I hope it's not too loud. It's loud in my headphones. I'm hearing all kinds of moves. Though my little piggies though, they've been money makers making all kinds of, I hope they're all females considering the milking. Yeah, exactly. Hence why like, even though like Gretel gave birth to one, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a girl because I'm pretty sure she's going to be giving me milk. Uh, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure they're all female. This is my little horse. I named her Mixie. And I have a cat around here somewhere, but you know, she'd be doing her own thing. Ooh, thank you for the money. That's just the, you know what, you're all right. So here's some cash. So I've been currently on a quest to get everybody to like me. I've done pretty good. Basically all you gotta do is talk to people and give them gifts every week. So now these people like me. <laughs> I'm still, well, I struggled a bit with Jazz, but I finally found something that she liked. She liked the pink cake, just like Haley. So working on these last few at the bottom, they're just not as convenient to see. That's how you get people to like you in real life too. I know, right? Just give them gifts every week and remember their birthday. They really value that. 
So I don't know. As far as like marriage and all that kind of stuff, it's kind of wild. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. The whole concept of getting married in this game is just like weird to me. <laughs> I didn't realize it until, well, I had to read the, you know, wiki and stuff to like learn some things because I couldn't find stuff. So I needed help. But then, yeah, somewhere in there, I read that you can get married. And I was like, uh. <laughs> It's like, oh no, this is romance. It's like, oh no, you can have babies with these people. I'm like, oh my God, my character can have kids. My character can get pregnant. All right, the festival, ah, damn, the festival is getting set up so I can't go in there at all. Huh, well, we can go, well, I recently, so what else have I accomplished? So, you can have babies, dang, I missed some patches. Yeah, you can have babies. So I made it to the bottom of the mine, like very recently, like, a few like stardew days ago so now we can use the skull key to go see what's happening in that other mine that's on my list of things to do otherwise i've done all of my uh quests and stuff so let's go take a look i just gotta be back by tonight <laughs> since it's the halloween day i played years ago got to day one of year three and then stopped oh wow yeah i'm almost at that point i just have winter to get through so I'm pretty close to it. Honestly, I was starting, I don't know, like once I got to like spring, well, summer of this year, because I'm only on year two, I was kind of like, mm, I'm kind of over this now. But then I started getting more serious about giving people gifts. And then I started getting all these cute and adorable cutscenes, And I was like, oh, oh, you guys are kind of cute. So then I wanted all the cutscenes, Hence why I started trying to make these people like me. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, they're big. So, to-dos for Cammy. I've got a lot of to-dos. Well, yeah, I mean, they're to-dos, but to me, they're not that major. Back up. Basically, can I pause? Okay, so I still need to get my mining up. I'm not quite there. And my combat needs to get up, so this is actually a good spot to be. And foraging, and I'm like, bro, I take all the free shit. How is my foraging not on 10 yet? I feel like it should be on 10 now, but apparently, you know, I gotta forage some more. So we'll see. Back in my day, marriage just meant Abigail would tell you have a good day and give you some food every now and then. Cute waifu. <laughs> I'd have no real intention to marry anybody at this game. Uh-oh. I need a dodge roll. We're not doing so hot. Line up, get fucked up. Okay, wait. We're not doing so great. Okay. Oof. Okay, that was bad. I'm dying. Um. And there's two more of these things. I'm just gonna go. Clearly, I'm not ready for this life. <laughs> Since I'm dying that fast, I didn't even bring anything to eat with me. So we're going to leave that alone. Can we talk about how outrageous this man's prices seem? Like he wants so much shit. Hope you are well. Have fun with Stardew. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I try. I've been, uh, I enjoyed it way more than I intended to. Thanks for the lurk. So, no, yes, you can have babies in this game. I don't have any babies. I don't really want to make babies. It's kind of cute, actually. They just move in and then are there, being cute waifu. Easy relationships. <laughs> I guess. But then I'd have to choose. I'm like, I'm low-key trying to date everybody. I'm like pimping all over the world right now. I've got Alex, he likes me, like Elliot, Sebastian. I got them like on edge. I actually got to Alex first. I think it's because he's outside the most, so he's the easiest to find. Since we're here, we might as well go talk to... Might as well go talk to her. I need to up my combat skills, though. I nearly died in there. I don't have anything to give you, though. Well, I guess she's actually not that picky. I've given her one of these before, and she at least didn't hate it. No, I gave her a coconut. Let's go get you a coconut. I don't want to... Well, fuck it. Here, take this cactus fruit. What are you gonna do, hate it? Of course not. 
That's what I thought. Now about you over here in the corner, sir. Can we be friends? Oh, I can't give it to him. The bouncer over here can't doesn't want to fuck with me. Hmm. That's fine. Okay, so I clearly do not have the combat skills. I mean, to be honest, if this game had like a slightly better combat system, I would actually really like this game. It's kind of like the a combination of Moonlighter, but with a bigger world. So it's kind of like the Moonlighter I wanted, but if only I could like dodge roll and like, you know, for real, for real combat, it would be pretty nice. One of the best lookups for this game is the most profitable crop each season. I figure it's not cheating. It's like the farmer's almanac. Yeah, I could see that. To be honest, I mean, your loyal horse waits patiently. <laughs> yeah, I know, my horse is so cute. To be honest, I don't really need, well, I don't know. I'm sure there's more things I'm gonna need to buy, but at this point, like, my animals, look how much truffles I get, you know what I mean? Like, I get so much from my animals that my pigs, they stock me up every single day that I can't even keep up with selling. So I end up, you know, like, I just have a whole bunch of shit just sitting in storage. So I, that's what, I mean, like, honestly, the crops are kind of annoying. I don't even really like the farming aspect of it. I'd rather just, like, be a, like, you see how easy it is? You just grab their shit and you can sell it. Or you can turn the cloth into, I mean, the wool into actual cloth or the truffles into actual oil. Or you could just not. Like, it's so easy. I just love the gardening. I made big gardens in Minecraft too. I don't know. I'm not really feeling the gardening, which was kind of why I didn't really want to play the game originally, to be honest, because I, I didn't think I would like the gardening. And, and I, eh, 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 not really. I got sprinklers ASAP. Like, I was like, I can't be out here <laughs> dealing with y'all. But the animals, I can talk to them all day. Look how cute they are. So I, I know most people have like gates and stuff and I, my animals just like roam hella free. They're, they're wild like that. They're not. <laughs> so yeah, I just bought a whole bunch of sprinklers and then I just put them into sets and then that's it. Have you tried Graveyard Keeper? It's like Moonlighter, but dead bodies. Oh, dead bodies. No, I haven't tried it. But if it's like Moonlighter, I'll probably like it because I didn't expect to like Moonlighter as much as I did. But then again, I didn't expect to like Stardew as much as I did. So, yeah, as far as my goals, I'm just, you know, making everybody love me one gift at a time. I've given everybody their gift this week. This is the first week I've actually given everybody two gifts, except for Sandy because she lived too damn far. So I'm impressed with myself. And I recent, well, okay, so for the longest time, I didn't have the magnifying glass. And because I didn't, well, I don't know. Like, okay, so the first winter, right, a shadowy dude appears. And then they're like, ooh, find out where the shadowy dude went. I had no damn clue where that shadowy dude went. Like, I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to find him? Like, that dude was gone. So the whole year went by. And basically... Like, I don't know, a few Stardew days ago, I was like, you know what? I'm tired of seeing this quest on my list. Where the hell did he go? So I looked it up online and one, I would have never found that. Where does this belong? Oh yeah, this belongs in here. There we go. I would have never found that ever. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, that's lovely. So then I did, and now when I kill enemies and sometimes mine stuff, I get gifts. Mm -hmm. All right, well, not gifts. I get the little notes about what people like and stuff. So I'm like, oh. So now it kind of made me want to keep playing the game. It's kind of made me want to keep doing all the, like, you know, the different mines and stuff. Because now when I kill something, I can actually find stuff, and then I learn stuff. And it's kind of hard to figure out what these people like. These people are picky. So in Graveyard Keeper, you run a graveyard and have to handle the cemetery and the church. You can make zombies to do your resource gathering. It's kind of like Stardew, but kind of like Moonlighter. But the crafting is way too complex, sadly. Hmm. Stardew is nice that you can figure most of it out. I don't like that about games where you have to look stuff up to progress. Yeah. I mean, the good part is, is that Stardew is so, like, there's so much information on Stardew that it's easy to look stuff up. But some stuff I would have never found. 
Like, I just so happened to find the axe, and that was, like, the first quest. It took me a long time just to find that. But a couple of them I have had to look up, because I was just like, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's time to go to sleep, everybody. Good night. Bye, everybody. Move, Zabby. Move, Mubby. I'm trying to get the truffles. So, yeah, my, my forest is kind of wild. Oh, I did unlock the greenhouse, though. I figure we'll start messing with that in the winter. I didn't really have much interest in doing it. Because to be honest, I don't really like the farming aspect. I just like my little animals because they're cute. And now that I got the auto grabber, like, it saves me so much time. So we'll see. Though the problem is, is that these little buggers eat, need too much hay. Like, man. But since we're almost at the last day... Let me make sure. Okay, we're gonna need to clear out the grass. So we'll make them some grass. These little buggers love them some grass. So let's make them some grass. So at least on their, hopefully it's not raining tomorrow. Is it raining tomorrow? If it is, that's, that's gonna suck. That's gonna kind of ruin my plans. Okay, it's sunny, great. All right, so. We're gonna make them some grass so that they can eat it all. And then we're gonna have to go buy a whole bunch of hay because I can't be bothered to grow hay. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't much grass. Oh well, they'll, they'll chomp it down, I promise. Um, do I need to bring anything for the Halloween festival? I don't think so. I think I just show up, right? Oh, look, my secret notes are actually here. Oh. See, now I want to find all the secret notes. So this is the one that I'm going to do next. So at 12 o'clock sharp tomorrow, I need to be, I need to check the bush above the playground. So don't let me forget tomorrow, 12 o'clock noon. This is the one I need to do because this is the first time it's going to be the end of the season. So I'll at least continue doing the mines until I get all the secret notes. I'll probably at least try to get, you know, see what happens if I can get everybody to love me. Because, you know, the cutscenes are kind of adorable, not going to lie. I do enjoy the cutscenes. There's been some weird ones. Some that are a little awkward. Like, oh, poor Clint trying to get at my girl Emily. Oh, man. This, this, uh, oh, the blacksmith. He's so awkward. He tries, though, but he's so awkward. I haven't had any good cutscenes with Jazz, so we got to up her up. And then, yeah, Harvey and Pierre, I just, I just wasn't interested in them, so I never gave them nothing. So it's like these people and below have had like the least amount of love with maru her dad came at me and was like what are your intentions with my daughter and i was like whoa this is getting too real <laughs> gotta make sure you're a good influence on her and i was like i'm gonna need you to back back sir i'm gonna need you to calm down so yeah it's an interesting game though it's cool though i can play it what am i gonna do with this damn cactus I don't know. So crafting in Graveyard Keeper is definitely looking up stuff online because you don't know recipes until you accidentally make them once. Oh, yeah, that kind of sucks. That does kind of suck. And there are different crafting areas. So you need A from here to craft B over there then take that, make that C over there. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Mm -mm. That sounds like a headache. <laughs> that sounds annoying add a little bit more over here there you go they can feast on that tomorrow but yeah basically um my current strategy on getting everybody to love me is for the people that i do know what they love i just give them what they love like but for many of the people i have no idea like as you can see even my top people i've only ended up with light gifts i have never given them what they loved elliot I found out what he loved from a secret note. And Sebastian, I just gave him one of his quest items and he loved it. So I was like, oh, finally. But it's been hard trying to figure out what these people like. <laughs> it's been trial and error. Or like every once in a while, they'll tell you, like someone will give you a hint. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, if you want to get, you know, if you want my husband to love you, give him some leaks. And I'm like, oh, finally, someone gives me a hint. But most of the time, it's just been trial and error. And sometimes I like it, sometimes a lot. 
Sebastian loves Dark Souls and Sadness. Basically, him and his video games, well, he says he's working and programming, but I'm like, are you just playing video games, sir? I know a gamer when I see one. He looks like a gamer. He had me playing some kind of Dungeons and Dragons shit. That was awkward because then I had to choose between Sam and Sebastian. And I'm like, I'm trying to pimp all over the world. I'm trying to get everybody to like me. Girls and boys. <laughs> so far, it's been working, though. It's too early. Now I got to waste time. Easiest way to waste time. Also, I never check on my fish. Feeling healthy? Great. I'm glad you're feeling healthy. I don't check on my fish enough. So, yeah. That's Stardew. I, I do like it, though. I do like the game. But I was feeling kind of like, mm, I'm kind of over this. But then once I realized how all the cutscenes work. Fish ponds. My God, I've been out of this so long. <laughs> Getting this magnifying glass is kind of giving me renewed strength. Oh, also, I met a bear. That was fun. He was nice. I gave him maple syrup, and then he gave me his knowledge. And for whatever reason, that means my berries are now triple the price. Because bear, you know, because bear said so. So that's lovely. <laughs> but yes, I have a fish pond. I've got my little horse here. I've got a mill and then I've got my barn, and then my coop, and then my greenhouse. I don't know how much of or any of this is new because, you know, I didn't, I've just been playing. So to me, all of it's, you know, the same. Oh, I forgot what I know what I meant to update you guys on. So the community center. So, community center, I'm almost done. I only have two left. The problem is, is that I looked up how to get something too late. So this chef bundle. This fiddlehead fern, I looked up how to get it too late. So apparently it's something that you can only find in the summer. So I'm like, I'm really not that interested in waiting an entire year just to get my friendship reward, but we probably will. And then my other one is this fish. The sturgeon fish is the last fish I need to catch. And it looks like I have to wait until the winter, which is only in like a couple more days. But then I have to go up to that mountain lake and try to get one of these guys. So, yeah, that's the only problem, though. Some of these things like you have no idea how to get. <laughs> you, I just assumed I'd walk into a fiddle fir fiddlehead fern, but it had been almost two years and I still haven't seen it. So hmm, we'll see. I played this for 165 hours to get to year three and apparently need to start fresh and do it all again. Apparently, Salmon, apparently. The bundles are worth it just because of what happens as you finish them. I know, right? And also for how adorable the little things are when they, they're so excited. <laughs> they're so happy when you finish. It makes you happy. So then I was like, okay, now I got to do all the bundles. But now I'm down to the final two and I'm sad because, well, I'm sad because for one of them, I don't know how I'm going to be able to find it. I don't think I can get fiddlehead fern any other kind of way. At least when I look at it up, when I looked it up, it said that it's only in the secret forest and only in the summer. And I'm like, fuck, I don't want to wait a whole nother year. But that might be what we have to do. All right. The festival has started. At least I got, you know, we're streaming on a event filled night. Hello, everybody. But Aunt Marnie, I want to go in the maze. I'm not scared. Hi, Cammy. Have you had a productive fall? It's starting to get quite cold. Crops won't hold out much longer. Hi, Haley. Eek, I'm too scared. Yeah, Haley, I know. You've always been a punk like that. Ooh, a new rare crow. I haven't gotten this one. Collect them all. Two of eight. I have like four right now, I think. They're kind of expensive, though. I'll take that uh, jack-o'-lantern. Before we go into the maze, let's talk to everybody. Don't get too close to the cage. Oh, I found these dudes in the bottom. I know who they are. I have no idea how these skeletons are walking. Creepy. My little dark Sebastian. Oh, did you know that Sebastian had, well, okay, I don't, I feel like I can't call spoilers in this game because it's been out for like four years. But did you know Sebastian had a motorcycle? I was like, oh, okay. He may be, you know, stuck to glued to his computer, but he he has some cool points having a motorcycle. One of my iridium infused maces would make quick work of these things. Now question. So about this guy, Clint, right? He's the blacksmith. 
how come this man don't sell me no weapons? Like, what's wrong with him? Like, he only processes my, like, farming upgrades how come he doesn't upgrade any of my weapons what's wrong with him we could be making big business here how come he has iridium infused stuff and i can't buy none of it these are the questions i have for this guy so then we have shane who's an alcoholic why is there no pump no more pumpkin ale probably because he drank it all he has a he has a problem we have emily our cute little fashion designer do you like the jack-o-lanterns i carved them myself i believe you Oh, they have little, they, they are kind of cute. We have Leah, who's our free spirit living out on the range. Hi, hi, sorry, mouthful of blackberries. She likes foraged items. Hey, Cammy, nice evening, isn't it? This is the guy who showed up at the beginning of year two because he just got back from war and has actual war problems. He was flipping out in a cutscene about popcorn. And I was like, this is too real. I get scared very easily. I'll leave the haunted maze to the younger people. This is Abigail's mom. The goth waifu that Salmon was talking about. Vincent's upset that I won't let him go into the haunted maze, but he's just a little boy. Yeah, I'd be pissed too. Good evening, Cammy. Have you ventured into the haunted maze yet? It's quite spooky. The strange man who lives in the tower set it all up himself. He wouldn't let anyone near while he was working on it. Mother won't let me go to the base. Yeah, I know. It's tough being a kid. Pam, other alcoholic. I'll come to any event with free grub. You won't see me in the haunted maze, though. And then Elliot is our writer. Why, hello, Cammy. It's chilly, isn't it? He wrote a romance novel and dedicated it to me. I was like, hmm, that's bold. It's a lot of fun to cook with pumpkin. Such an interesting fruit. And yet he won't teach me no recipes about it. I haven't seen Mara in hours. I hope she's all right. Well, winter's almost here. It's a great time to stockpile on wood and stone. I guess, yeah. That's pretty much all I did last winter was just take down a whole bunch of wood. All right, so we've done this before. I hope I get a prize again because I actually completed it last year. I think I've been this way. Wait, no. So this is our science nerd girl. She's nice. Oh, you found me. Truth is, I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. But this game is cute, though. They have, like, all these different celebrations. Each season has its own, like, major celebration. Oh, I saw that red. There's something weird over there, but how do I get to it? Watch me do me. I can't go on. Spiders. Here's Salmon's girl. Salmon's wifey here. Thankfully, the spiders don't move and I ain't got to fight nobody. And then way over here is Sam, who I've been working on. He's our skater boy and also plays guitar. Oh, yeah. And Sebastian also plays the keys, but they need a drummer. I don't know when they're going to get to figure that out. That's odd. It's just a dead end up ahead. You think, but it's not. All right, let's go get my prize again this year. Oh, I didn't even see Linus and the wizard up there. Huh? I didn't see them last year like that. Thank you. Second golden pumpkin for me. Now, I don't know what to do with the golden pumpkin, but I have it. <laughs> That's basically it. I just have the pumpkin. I guess I could give it to somebody, but it's worth so much money. I could sell it, but you know, what's the point of that? So yeah, that's the solution to the maze and if anybody was looking for it. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of stuck in here. We got to go around. He did a great job though. It's definitely a full-fledged maze despite how small it is. The vapor from this cauldron is making my head spin, but I can't seem to leave. Mm, girl, don't 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 get hooked on the juice. Is this? Look at the little cat in the window. Okay, that's it. Alrighty. I don't think there's anything else for me here. We I mean like once you talk to everybody, it's kind of like isn't that's that's kind of the end, right? 
Um, why not? In case someone ever asked me to make one for them. Other than that, that's about it, right? That's all she wrote. I can't talk to the ones that are on top of the hill. So, yeah. Happy Halloween in Stardew Town. Oh, wait, hold on. This might be one of the only ones where nothing, like, no cutscene goes off once you finish. You know, normally you can talk to this guy and then there'd be some sort of cutscene, but I think this is one of the few where you can't kick anything off. You just do the maze and then that's it. Also, you're blocking the way. What if I wanted to talk to Pierre rather than just buy stuff from him? Don't get those options. So yeah. Happy Halloween. And we're back. Another golden pumpkin to add to my collection. And another rare crow to add to my collection. So this one's a normal one, but I've gotten one, two, three, four, five rare crows. So we can put my new zombie one over here. And then all of these things are gonna die tomorrow. Sad, sad. And then that's it. That's it for the day. Okay, so yes, don't forget guys, tomorrow, 12 p.m. sharp. That's not a zombie, uh-huh. It's totally a zombie. 12 p.m. sharp, we have to be at the playground, guys. I wanna see what this secret note is all about. And then after that, we'll probably just go to the mines and try to like, it's a witch? Oh, is it? Okay, you might be right, it could be a witch. Queen of Sauce, what are we learning today? Fiddlehead risotto. Fiddlehead ferns are beautiful, but actually quite bland on their own. That's why you have to pay careful attention to the spices you add. I'll be honest, it's not very easy to make a good fiddlehead risotto, but with my help, you'll have the best chance of achieving it. Well, if I had some fiddlehead ferns, lady, she didn't tell me how to get that. What's up? I see you've entered the Skull Cavern, well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send your, to send if you can do it. Your friend, Mr. Key. Who the hell is Mr. Key? I don't know a Mr. Key. All right, let the animals free. See how they tear up the grass? They can't have anything nice for two seconds. And look at that, they don't share either. And it's over. That's all the grass. Good job, Piggy. Um, I think soon though, at this point, I'm gonna have to sell another one. You know, cause I can't let it get too full or else they won't reproduce. I'm assuming, right? Like once you're, you have too many. Probably. Oh, look, okay, last harvest guys. All right, let's get all the goodies. Before I have to start trying to plant for the, oh yeah, you're right, it is totally a witch. <laughs> Dakota was correct. I was hoping for a zombie, I guess. And I just spoke it into existence, though that wasn't actually the case. So these are my ancient fruits. So I'm thinking, <laughs> told you, you were right. I'm thinking, so I have some ancient fruits, right? I'm thinking I'm gonna convert them into seeds and then maybe make my whole greenhouse ancient fruits because that ancient fruit wine is a fucking winner, okay? Like, <laughs> and I also read that online. Um, let's see. So that's my theory of what I might do. I also planted my rare seeds, so I have these sweet gem berries. I'm not sure 
what to do with them. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should just gift them to somebody or, you know, like they don't seem as magical as star fruits. Star fruits like increase my energy and all that kind of other amazing stuff that they do. So I don't know what's so special about rare fruits, but you know, I got one, so. Well, two now, actually. But when in doubt, I can convert them back into seeds and also grow them in the greenhouse. I guess. Hey, does this auto grabber, it doesn't work. I think it only works for barns and coops, right? I don't think the auto grabber will work for a like farm. <laughs> like if I put one in the greenhouse, would it just auto grab all the stuff for me or probably not. Oh no, it's a new week. I gotta start passing out gifts again. Ugh, these guys are so needy. At least I got a couple people up to like max levels now. Though I don't know what that really does for me. I don't know, I've never made it this far. Huh, they're so needy. Ugh. All right, let's buy a shit ton of hay from this lady. Hi, Marnie. Sorry, this might be annoying for a while, but these animals need enough hay to last them the whole goddamn winter. And I've got too many at this point. But I can't have them looking at me with their little grumbles, so. My thing can hold 400 because I have two silos. I think there's probably a little under 100 in there now. I really wish I could mass purchase, but that's not a thing in this game. So you have to unfortunately click a million times. Well, not a million, 480 times to be more precise. We'll get to, I'd like to get to 400. We might have to sell some stuff. I don't like my thing. Look, I don't like feeling so broke out here. We're almost there. Sell a cow? <laughs> no, I don't want to sell a cow. Well, I could sell a cow. I'm not sure, actually that's a good point because I don't want my barn to be too full because I want my creatures to still be able to like, you know, actually make, you know, babies. Hi, Cammy. I'm glad we've become friends. I know I can trust you to take care of my dear animals. If I must. Here. Ah, does Shane like cheese? I'm pretty sure I've given him cheese, but because I've given everybody cheese. Yeah, he liked it. Oh, wait. Why, why was there a little, did you see that little symbol on the bottom? What the hell was that? I don't know what that little symbol means next to the cheese. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. I'm sure it means something though. Saw his little freak out. Let's go talk to Jazz. I'll sell my Tesla for gas money. <laughs> Shane's got a lot, gone a lot, and Aunt Marnie is busy all the time, so I have to invent my own games. I'm thankful for all my toys. At least she's opening up to me. Before, she was like, I don't know you. Stranger danger. Get the fuck out of my face. And I was like, damn, your child's rude. Like, rude as hell, right? I mean, to be fair, yes, yeah, stranger danger. I'm glad someone taught her well, but still. All right, let's, uh... Clear some grass. Oh, nice, secret note. What's our secret note for today? Mermaid show, one, five, four, two, three. Okay, well the mermaid show isn't until the winter, but we'll try to keep that in mind, whatever that means. But yes, the secret notes have definitely added something to this game that made it more interesting all of a sudden. We'll stock up on grass. We'll stock up on hay.
Okay, it's 10.50, guys. Thankfully, my horse is pretty fast. Oh, did I not let my animals out? I sure did. They're just too lazy to go this far. Oh, wait, we gotta go. We gotta go. Cammy, what are you doing? Oh, no. Shit. Are we gonna make it? <laughs> I had one job today. And I don't think we're gonna make it. If we don't, I will start this day over. Oh my god, we made it. Okay, 11.50. Uh, it said 12 o'clock sharp. Right? It said, let us read again. Secret note. 12 o'clock noon sharp, last day of the season. That's today. Check the bush above the playground. Oh, shit. <laughs> You received a Junimo plush? Oh, okay. Well, we did that already. Um, what the hell am I gonna do with that mega thing? Look how huge it is. Look how big it is. Oh my God, this thing is massive. Hi, Haley. The only problem though with trying to like actually talk to these people every day is that like, you know, they only have so many lines, like. I don't really want to talk to them every day. But our goal for today is basically going to be to chop up all the grass that we can. Excuse me, pardon me, everybody. Let's try to get clear up the grass because we'll be chopping down the trees over the winter. If we even need wood like that anymore. Because to be honest, I don't know if I really do. I've already got 999 in wood. I'm not sure how much more I'm really gonna need, but I guess it depends on what else I might wanna build. And as of right now, hmm, not much. Let's go say hi to the, the wizard. And then we can also rethink how we're gonna plant our garden for the year. So to the wizard, we'll give him a rabbit's foot cause he likes that. And my go-to gift to everybody is coffee, except for the kids, in which case we're gonna give her that. Oh no, I should have given him a strange bun. Um, I don't know what else that little girl likes though. I know she likes like cake, but that's doing too much. So I'm gonna need her to like something simple. She said she liked ice cream straight from the parent, her farm. But I don't know how to turn my like goat milk into ice cream. Like I haven't learned how to cook ice cream, have I? Can I cook ice cream in this game? I don't think I've learned anything like that. The taco, we got pizza. I'm like, I don't think anybody's taught me how to make ice cream. Stuffing, pumpkin soup. Triple shot espresso. Hmm. Can we learn how to make ice cream in this game? I don't know. But that's what she said she liked, but I don't know if she's gonna get that. Um, maybe she'll like grapes. Hopefully she do. We'll find, oh wait, have I given her grapes? No, I feel like she didn't because I'm pretty sure I gave that little girl grapes and she was like, eh. Okay, I accidentally gave her hay. That was my bad. Give her a duck, <laughs> a whole duck. Also, it kind of feels like your gift log expires after some part, some points. Maybe it's just me. Whoa, hiccup. Maybe it's just me. It feels like it expires. Cause I feel like sometimes I give them stuff and then they just totally ignore me. All right, let's see if she likes grapes. No, no. See, yeah, she don't like grapes. Is this a gift? Oh, you know, like she don't like grapes. Is it a hated gift though? See, it doesn't really make the cut. So like, even though I give stuff, sometimes they don't make the cut. 
Um, a battery pack? I might take that battery pack, actually. Just because, you know, I don't get a battery pack too often and in case somebody asks for it. Um, I'm not seeing too much grass. I might have cleared it out too quickly already. Hello, sir. I'm still trying to get on this guy's good side, too. There you go. You observe the local villagers in secret? I am hoping to find an apprentice. Someday I will leave this mortal plane, but my arcane pursuits must continue. Look no further. Let's do this. I'm trying to get in here. Oh, I can go in now. Ooh, I couldn't go in here before. What the hell is this thing? The Shrine of Illusions. Make an offering of 500 Gs to change your appearance? No, I think my girl's actually very cute. Thank you. Like, isn't she adorable? I love her. Huh. Interesting. I didn't expect that. Okay, well, at least now we're cool enough for me to go in your all up in your house. So you chose this outfit. Interesting. Also, what am I going to do with this Junimo thing? This shit is way too big. <laughs> what am I going to do with it? Well, it's the last day of the season. Tomorrow's going to be winter. And when winter hits in this game, it hits hard. Oh, hello, you. We're already good, so I don't think you really need anything. Are you doing your best on the farm, Cammy? You'll have to accomplish things in many areas if you want to become a well-rounded citizen. Yeah, yeah, take your coffee. So basically, I planted a whole bunch of coffee beans in the summer, and now I have a shit ton of coffee beans. So I just make coffee as my standard go-to gift to give to everybody. It only sells for 150, so it feels like it's worth the trade. Hello, people. Nobody's home. Not a single person. Okay. I don't know what you guys do on Sundays at 4 p.m. Nobody's here. Where are the people? Mass produced cake. Ugh, I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> like, there you are. That feels excessive. People, people, hold up. Coffee for you. No, not you. Not you. I'm not. Jody, where are you going? Take your coffee. When you become a parent, you have to leave your lifestyle behind? Maybe that's not entirely true, but if you're not careful, what happened? Oh, God. Move. Thank you. Alrighty. Wait, their child. Why did they leave him? I got just the thing for you, kid. You're welcome. I'm still missed, though. I don't know when we're going to get out of this formal situation. Or maybe, you know... There you are, Haley. Where, where have you been? You don't want to talk to me? Okay, that's fine. Cammy, when's the wedding again? Ha! <laughs> I don't know if I want to marry any of these people. Oh, this girl needs a battery, actually. There you go. Is that? Oh, wow, Cammy, this is spectacular. I know, I know. I don't know. There's too many options. I'm just trying to, like, get everybody to like me because I want all the cutscenes. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible to get all the cutscenes. Probably not. One for you. I already given you your coffee, Marnie. I mean, in real life, but okay. <laughs> My actual wedding? Mm. I have to get engaged first. At least I think that's how the steps go, right? Hello, people. You're welcome. You too, old person. See what I mean? Coffee is just a good, it's such a good go-to. Who's the lucky man? 
I, I have to get engaged first. But I live with my boyfriend, so ideally him. <laughs> All right, Maru's leaving. Penny's leaving. Everybody's going to their spots now. Pierre, I don't think you've gotten your coffee today. You're welcome. Now, where's your daughter? Is she here? She is not. There was one cutscene where you got to play the um, arcade game with the daughter. And I feel so bad because she lost when she was with me. And I'm like, I can be better. We can do better. I felt bad. I didn't want her to lose. Move, Maru. I felt bad. She died. Don't close the door. Coffee for you. Okay, it's good to see you. You're a regular member of the community now, don't you think? I know, right? It just took two years. Now move along. Move. Move. You gotta talk to your husband. You guys don't have a big enough house. So yeah, that's the only problem though. This game is a little high maintenance. These characters can be high maintenance. This guy, our doom and gloom. Well, it's not too much doom and gloom, but he's definitely not happy. <laughs> but, you know, living at home can be kind of tough, especially when you're an adult like all these people are. Pretty much all of them are living alone, except for Haley and Abigail. Well, not Abigail. Emily, their sisters. But they live together. But I don't know what they have, what they're going to be doing with their lives. So this guy, Clint, is in love with blue hair over there. I've already talked to you today. Ugh. I don't know where oh, Sam must be at home. So yeah. This is what I try to do on the first day. At least until like everybody like loves me. And there's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> It's been, ah, it's been kind of boring. <laughs> but the cutscenes are worth it because they're so cute. Alrighty, we're done for the day. And that's pretty much it. That's that's basically Stardew. I give pretty much uh, Miss Elliot. Oh, I thought oh I saw Caroline. I thought I'd given her already. Didn't see Abigail. Linus is too far. Sam is too far. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I might just have to target specific people because I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of constantly trying to give people gifts, you know, starting to weigh on my soul. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with this plushie. It's too damn big. Also, thank you. Sold. All right, let's close this up because you guys are done for the season. I'll see you guys in the new year outside anyway. And then, oh, I have some extras. Oh, wow. Okay, I have way more hay than I thought I did. Whoops. Okay, we can put this away. Like way more hay than I thought. Let's put the coffee away, the grapes away. This is like my gifting corner. I try to keep all the stuff that people actually like in here. Or at least some of the stuff. Some of the regular gifts that I give. The nice thing is you can keep giving people the same damn gift and they still love it. Even if I'm low-key tired of it, they still love it. But seriously though, this plushie is like major and I can't even put it here Ugh, I can't even put it in the barns I have to put it in my house where the hell I guess you can 
Why? There you go. I guess you can stay there. And then that's the upper fall. Nice. But yeah, haven't really been about the money. Once I hit like that six figures, I don't know, something about it. Like I had a hundred thousand and then I was like, yep, you know, I'm, I've had enough money. <laughs> really, once I got closer to like 50,000, to be honest, I was kind of like, alrighty, we're done now. Ah, uh, the night market is coming up. Festival of Ice. Oh, uh, I might have missed that last year. I remember the Festival of the Winter Star. I don't know if I remember the Festival of Ice. Might have missed that last time. You're gonna need a nursery in your house before you can have kids. Baby needs a crib. Uh. And isn't it kind of nice in the fronter? It's kind of cool looking, right? Now, we'll be resetting our sprinkler situation. That's kind of the first day of springs, you know. I actually have a lot of sprinklers. <laughs> I didn't realize how many crops I had. And none of my fruits. I'm not getting any fruit for my trees. That's wonderful. All right, put you guys here. Or I can move them into the greenhouse since, you know, that's a thing. Let's see how many peeps we got in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, we're cutting it kind of close. One of you got one of you ducks are gonna have to go soon. My chickens are OGs, and this one is just like a nega chicken, so he's he's just kind of cool. So one of these ducks are gonna have to go. Uh, you're kind of new, Seafy. You might have to go. See, now it's come to the point where I don't even name them anymore. I just, like, Fickard? Like, would I really name a duck Fickard? Like, what kind of name is that? Goodbye. We gotta make room for our new nega chicken that's coming. Wasn't there a cartoon? Like, a, I feel like there was a Cartoon Network cartoon with, like, an actual nega chicken. And that's what it reminded me of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so we're still good in here. Hope you guys are doing all right. I'm out. My greenhouse doesn't even have a path anymore. Thankfully, my horse can still roll around in the cold. It's kind of the only one though. Um, what do I want to do today? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing really, I guess. Oh, almost missed one. Oh, I know what I can do in the winter. I can upgrade all my tools. That's a thing we can do. Because I've been kind of lazy about it. I've, I upgraded my pickaxe, but I haven't upgraded anything else. So we might as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh. Okay, so I get really bad stick drift on my Switch. It's just, it's, it doesn't annoy me all the time, but it does annoy me sometimes. And I just be like, all right. <laughs> it takes up, it just, it just annoys me sometimes. It's not that bad though. But we can at least take my, oh yes, Key's challenge. Who the hell is Key again? Emily's gonna have to wait a long time for this apricot. Apricot? Apricot. Um, all right. But, hey, we got money. I've definitely got enough money to last me for a while now. Okay, no, not to you. Do you want some bacon? Why is she asking me if I got hogs on my farm? You think she likes truffles? Maybe she likes truffle oil? No quest for Cammy? Oh.
No quest for Cammy. So yeah, this is Stardew. So which one should we upgrade? I'm thinking the axe. Otherwise, I've donated a whole bunch of stuff. Let me show off a little bit. Let me flex a little bit. I've donated what feels like a shit ton of stuff, but we're still not full yet. You actually get a lot of stuff through fishing. So I recently looked up this whole issue of a book missing. I hear that there are worms in the ground, like little wiggly worms. And if you, if you manage to use the hoe where they're digging, then you'll actually get a worm. What are you doing out here? It's too cold. Why, why are you out here, honey? It's way too cold for this. So I guess that's all. I need to do. <laughs> That's true. Nalik, this is not Animal Crossing. No, no, it's not. Thank you for the reset. <laughs> I appreciate it. It is not Animal Crossing. This is me trying to see if I can handle Animal Crossing. And to be honest, I don't know. I feel like the things that I like about Stardew, I'm not sure if they're in Animal Crossing. I don't know. I don't know if it's a game for me. I'm not convinced. I prefer this. Yeah, I feel like I do too. Like this has adorable little cutscenes, and you know, the people like me and stuff. Look at that. George is almost my bestie. Look at him. I guess I should be giving out gifts. I don't really feel like it though. So I'll just talk to people today. Oh, Leah, Marnie, hey, everybody. So yeah, not much for me to do right now. Um, I guess we can keep, we can go to the mines. Wait, isn't this game two player? Oh yeah, it does have co-op mode. I own it on the Switch and on PC. I don't, I haven't tried the co-op, but it does have a co-op mode. We can, okay, fuck Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's just too cold to go outside much, but I enjoy building a snow goon. All right, so this girl, so, okay. Other thing, does Animal Crossing have, you know, romantic rivals because this girl Abigail is filling on Sebastian. And she just be at his house sometimes. I've seen her just kicking it on his couch. And I'm like, excuse me. I'm also trying to get a Sebastian. Slow your roll. Nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing makes me laugh. Oh, geez. Yeah, no, I'm being a little dramatic. A little bit. A little. A little dramatic, yes. He's so emo, right? Did you see the snowman I built? Uh, I didn't. But like this game has cutscenes and things and they're kind of cute. Like, you know, I started giving Maru, she's the daughter of uh, this girl and that guy over there. I started giving her gifts and stuff. And then her dad like kind of flexed on me a little bit and was kind of like, yo, you know, like I just need to understand your intentions with my daughter and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, these are like real life situations. So, you know, you kind of have moments. It's kind of nice. I didn't, ex I didn't know about the, oh. No one told me the train was passing by. Usually they give me a notification. I get free shit from the train. Well, usually I can get free shit that's falling off. Ugh, what is that? I don't want that shit. Huh, I've never actually watched the train go by all nice and gently like this. Now, the thing is, is that since there is a train, that means I feel like I should be able to get the fuck out of here. But these people act like they're totally stuck here and there's like nothing they can do. It's 
me in, Alik, if you ever wanted to play and you have a uh, Stardew too. Where's my free shit? Am I supposed to hit it? It gave me no free shit. Oh, there's my free shit. Okay. It gave me some wood. That's not as exciting though. I want more than wood. Four pieces of wood. Boo. They also have a spa. Alrighty, since, oh, Alex, what the hell are you doing up here? You like the snow? Me, I'm looking for, just for looking forward to the spring. Sometimes I feel like these people be out of character. Like what the hell was he doing up there? I haven't seen him this far up before. So, I have only a few more bundles left to save the community center. I have to catch a sturgeon. Oop. I don't own Stardew, but I do have <laughs> Animal Cross. Shit, what is that game called? <laughs> Stardew's a, probably a really good game for its price. Like it's on Enter the Gungeon levels of like how long you can play it. And probably Stardew, you can probably play for even longer. Who knows how many cutscenes they have in this game. How many scenarios they are. All right, I've been told you can catch a sturgeon in here in the winter. It is icy out here. I expect to find a sturgeon. Damn it. <sighs> but I've already maxed out my fishing, so this is literally just... Well, I actually do kind of like the fishing. The actually playing um, a short hike is what made me consider that I might like Stardew Valley is because I found myself wanting to go back to that cute little game just to fish. And in that game, Starbound. Starbound? I don't think I heard of that game. The only other game that I hear this get compared to a lot is Harvest Moon. But what is Starbound about? Sounds nice. Sounds, I don't know, positive. Hmm, suddenly I have a headache. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe I should get some water. Starbound is Harvest Moon in space. Oh. I see. Is it cute though? You know, I'm all about the cute graphics. Hmm, we got a perch. That's for you to decide. Hmm. Well, it's pixely. It's pixely. Woo, okay, okay, aggressive. All right, aggressive. Aggressive, Calm. no! I don't wanna lose the fish. I shall not bow down to fishes. There we go. Finally, I got the sturgeon. Okay, we can save the community center. Hey, are you getting your stimulus check tonight? I am, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, economic stuff. Mm. Eh. Let's not talk about it. All right. I can at least finish one more bundle. It was automatic. Oh, nice. Hmm. That's pretty nice. You just wake up with more money in your account. I'm sure that's gotta be a nice feeling. <laughs> oh. Did they mail you and tell you that it was coming in? Oh my God. Stop. Oh my God, fish. Oh my God, fish. Stop it with the juke moves. Come on. Oh my God, I've almost got him. 
I've almost got him. Thank you. Jesus, what fish was this? Ling cod? I think it was aggressive. My sister said she was buying a hot tub first. <laughs> nice. Well, you know, it's your stimulus money. You stimulate how you want to. <laughs> We're gonna watch you while you eat. Oh, the whole family. I and Elise family. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, I gotta catch every fish now. Some of these fish, is, fish are getting aggressive. I don't know what their problem is. But yeah, so actually playing a short hike is what made me want to play. Oh yeah, what are you guys eating? Playing um, a short hike is what made me actually decide to give Stardew a chance. Because I mean, as much as people love games, I mean, you know, I've, I've definitely played games that people love and then didn't also love it. And then you're kind of like, mm, this is awkward because I don't actually like this game. <laughs> like eh, eh. or there's also some games that I'm only willing to play on stream <laughs> like I'm only willing to stream them like all of the Life is Strange episodes I probably wouldn't play those games alone those games are more fun because I get to talk with you guys and we get to debate on who to blame and who to <laughs> what to do I feel like that's what makes it fun. But thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate you guys for hanging out. On some chill Stardew. Maybe I'll stream more Stardew. I don't know. I feel like I have to have energy to stream it, though. Because it's not... I don't know. Like, I usually play such action-type games. And then I end up, like... That... I don't know. The action games give me energy. But games like Stardew, they're so chill that, you know... I'm not sure I really get as much energy from it. I like that game. Oh, which game? Which game did I mention? Like, I mean, people like all kinds of games, like World of Warcraft or Dauntless. Okay, we got an aggressive fish, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look at here. Here we go, here. Huh. Huh. You're mine. Ho, ho. All right, one more fish and then we'll go. Oh, you guys get to see how adorable it is when I finish a um, bundle. Okay, brace yourselves after this last catch. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, we're okay. Whew, caught him. Yeah, aggressive. All right. Hold on, you guys. We're going to show you something adorable. We're going to go finish the community center for one of the last bundles that I have. So over here, this is the broke down community center. It's actually starting to become a little bit better, but it's pretty broke down. Yeah, as you can see in here. But there's these cute little guys here. I've only got two left, but they're adorable, aren't they? I don't know what they are, but they're here. And basically I have a bundle. So they request different things. And so this was one of the bundle. I've already given it the first three. So now we've got the last piece to throw in here. Bam, bundle complete. Let's see what we got. Dressed spinner. Okay, sure. And then a whole bunch of them show up because <laughs> they're so cute. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. Oh no, they're gonna leave me? I didn't know that. Oh, I don't want them to leave. So I got another star for my plaque up there. Thank you, little buddy. <laughs> so that was the cute thing I wanted to show you guys. So we finished the aquariums bundle. I've got one more to do and it's this one, but I need that fiddle fern, which fiddlehead fern, which I've only found or I've heard is only in the secret forest. Thank you, little buddy.
So I've done, so there was like a bundle in every room. So there was like one for the pantry, one for, I don't know, kids room? Whatever room this is, it's getting late. Uh, it is getting late. The only problem with this game, well, it's not a problem, but one thing to keep in mind is that when the strike, when the clock strikes 2 a.m., this girl knocks out. She don't care where she's at. She don't care what's going on. She could be in the middle of a serious battle. She will literally sit her ass down and go to sleep. And then that's it. <laughs> 2 a.m. She is very serious about that clock strike. All right, let's put some fish away. Oh, I got a whole bunch of new fish. I probably don't have any space for you guys. Hmm. I'm gonna have to find an, I'm gonna have to make a new like thing for these guys. <laughs> One, two, three. All right, now it's 1 a.m. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put these fish, but I guess they can sit here for now. Actually, you come back. All right, and sleep. That was day one of winter. Boom. So as you can see, I'm pretty, oh, that's right. Oh, this is the glittering rock they take out. Oh, go little buddies, go. I don't know what that does. Okay, now we gotta go investigate that today. <laughs> now we got something to investigate. All right, it's a new day. Let's see what we got on TV, nothing. All right, let's go. Pretty, pretty quiet in the winter. Some people will kind of just like fast forward through the entire winter because they don't really want to deal with it. I don't think it's that bad though. No, no. Oh. All right, no, no, stay, okay. So, let's go see what the uh, little dudes did last night. Hold on, where am I going without my trusty steed? I should really move your house closer to mine, but I couldn't, I couldn't think of like a nice spot for it to be. Maybe I'll put it up against the wall, I don't know. We have a lot to upgrade, so. We might as well make a whole bunch of this. All right, let's go see what the little guys did. Oh yeah, the holly. Did you know that holly was a plant that just like grows out in the wild? This game has like things in it that I've never actually seen. It's kind of trippy. See, when I saw the glittering thing was gonna be removed, I thought it was gonna be this. Oh, what's over here? Oh, who the hell is this guy? Ah, cave carrot stew, cave carrot roast, cave carrot soup, and cave carrot aubergine. Are you gonna, you wanna teach me how to make that? And a ramkin of cave carrot brulee to sweeten the night. Are you asking me to make shit for you? What? Oh, you've got a rare crow. Let's see, what else you got in here? Life elixir, that's nice. Starpa Valley, I know, I know. I got hooked in. I played some cute little chill game where I ran around as a bird flying around and the next thing you know, I was like, well, let's give the Stardew Valley a shot. And I'm cool with it, I like it. I like the cutscenes. <laughs> Bro, I have so many of these rare crows. I was kind of hoping you'd have something a bit more interesting. 
but he doesn't. Is that it, buddy? Like, is that all? That's it? Okay. All right. I'm out now. Oh. Well, let's see what the little dudes did overnight. What does this mean? See? Cutscene. Hi, Cammy. It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Did we get new fish? Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? I do. I do see glistens. Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. What that mean? You know what this means, right? It means we can start panning for ore. Panning? Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? Panning? I got a whole new copper pan? Oh. If you ever see ore glistening on the water, use that pan and see what you find. Uh-huh. You received a copper pan. Um, and he's gone. All right, well. Uh, what does it even look like to pan? What What is... Yeah, we're panning for gold. I don't know how I use it though. Oh, look, here's the worms. Okay, hold on. I was told that if you dig these guys up, I missed. Oh, you find secret stuff, rusty cog. Okay, I actually noticed the worms for the first time. Look at me go. Okay, but seriously though, how, how do you, what do you, what do I? It, does it only work with glistens? I can't just pan just because, no? It doesn't work like that? They're not gonna give me a chance to like give it a shot? Huh, oh, that sucks. I'd like to pan for gold now. Where's... Or, I don't know, pan for whatever the fuck I'm supposed to pan for. I don't see any glistens. I feel played, refund. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, well. So this is the quarry. It has all kinds of minerals and stuff in it. I don't really need minerals in particular right now. Ugh. But there's so much stuff in the way. Hmm. Alrighty, well. We can now pan. Do I pan in all water or just up I guess just up here I don't know why I'm so disappointed but I am because I want to pan something and I don't I don't even get to see what the animation looks like used to gather ore from streams alrighty well I guess well fuck it let's go fight we'll take it easy we'll start at 20 why are we fighting, you ask? Because I need more secret notes. And how do you get secret notes? By killing things. Or digging things. But mostly killing things. So let's see if we can get some new stuff. Because honestly, it's the only way to find out what these people in this valley like. And there's still quite a few people in here. I have no idea what they want from me. You don't want these problems. I told you. He wasn't listening. Well, if we can now pan for better ore, hopefully, that means I'll be able to upgrade my stuff more. Though, honestly, I don't, I don't really see the point in it. Like, at this point, I can pretty much get anything I need. So far, well then again, you know, maybe there's more to this game than I know. It feels like in other video games, like you know clearly where the end is going to be. Even if it is an adventure game, which this game is adventure, but kind of not really. It's like kind of adventure. In the sense that like, you go at your own pace entirely. So the game can actually, I don't know, take you in roundabout circles. 
You can do things, you cannot do things. The game just continues to exist. <laughs> So it doesn't feel like an adventure game in that sense. Hey, Lux. Oh. Slash. Had to take him out real quick before I can say hello. How you doing, Lux? Hope your classes are going good. My office in LA County basically said that we can't be up or, you know, all of our offices have to be closed through at least mid-May. So I'm sure many of you guys are also gonna be stuck as well. So many people are gonna have to, you know, get used to online classes, which low key, I'm like, thank God I'm not at school because I did not like online classes. What did you think of Go Go Dab? <laughs> I thought it was cute. It's already a, um official Go Go Cam or Go Go Cammy Discord official. I think I'm gonna have to like re-upload it though so that it's like clear. It's kind of small compared to the other emotes. So I think I gotta like crop it or something, but. Thanks for the emote. I appreciate it. So yeah, we're just in here looking for secret notes of which I've gotten none thus far don't appreciate that and does that did that random guy show up as my as a friend oh yeah oh he's the dwarf oh I guess now I gotta make friends with a dwarf well he told me what he liked he liked ca cave carrot everything only problem with cave carrots is like you have to dig in the caves you can't find them anywhere else but, oh, I wonder, cause I've had like cave scrolls and shit. I wonder if he wants those. <laughs> I've been just like selling his people's stuff. <laughs> Whoops. Playing this game with headphones, I'm hearing so much more of the quality of this game. I usually just play on the Switch with the regular little speakers that the Switch comes with. So it's actually, more of an experience playing it like this. Seriously though, I came here for the secret notes and secret notes I do not, I am not getting. There we go. Give me some cave carrots because I have a feeling I'm going to be making a lot of them. Rusty spoon, that's new. The hell's there? Oh, here's the secret note. Ha ha. I was talking about I have one. Wasn't getting any notes. Oh, it's an artifact. Let's see. Alex's strength training diet. The complete breakfast and a salmon dinner. I've learned to love this food. I can feel the protein. Uh, okay. See what I mean? Like some of these people want me to cook for them. And I'm like, bro, can you just take these raw materials and stop requiring me to like try hard? When they kept like telling me like, oh, do you want to upgrade your house? Like I thought that was just an optional thing of just like, eh, if you want to spend some money and you just want your house to be fancy. No, no, no. <laughs> it was a requirement. And now the lady's like, oh, do you want a nursery? You're going to need a nursery if you're going to have kids. And I'm like, whoa, let's slow down. First of all, I'm not married. And you can't actually get married in this game. They have full wedding ceremonies and everything. It's kind of wild. I have to buy like, oh, hello. I have to buy a bouquet and then I give it to the people. This game just got too much going on. Can you imagine actually being married to someone in a game? I don't think I've ever, I can't think of any game where I've been married to someone. I mean, I guess that's normal maybe for like more sim type games, which, you know, this fits in the definition of, but it's the first one like it that I've ever played. So I've never had a <laughs> video game husband. Oh, my girl's tired. Oh, and I don't have any, I forgot to bring some 
cheese with me so that I can replenish. Womp womp. Newbie! Thank you for the cheer. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Oh! Ah, got hit. That's so nice of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, what else am I going to do? Well, honestly, is there much left to do? Oh, there's my horsey. Faithful, faithful horsey. Let's go into the town to see if there's a quest, because that's kind of the only other thing there really is to do. Just random side quests in this game. Hey, bring me this. Hey, bring me that. Hey, can you catch these three squids? And oh, no side quest for Cammy. Alrighty. Maybe it's because it's winter. Nobody gives a shit. All right. Let's go see if there's something to actually pan this time. This whole panning concept is annoying if I can't actually do it. Ah, oh, more for newbie. Thank you. More cheers, more bits. I appreciate it. Do you play Stardew newbie? I feel like everybody does and I'm like, I'm the late one, but I wanted to ask. This is still my first time playing the game. Oh, my girl is too tired even to try to get some ore. All right, fine. We're going to sleep now. Forget it. Oh, I'm so close to saving the community center. No, I just discovered it while watching you. Oh, really? Oh, wow. This game came out. Oh, my shit is full. I'm just all just just send her ass to sleep. This game came out in like 2016. And it still gets updates because the game community is just, I don't, just loves this game. So it still gets updates, even to this day, which seems so wild to me. And is, I'm very impressed by it. That, you know, the community loves it that much. And that the dev himself loves it that much because one person made like this whole game, which is kind of crazy. Is it free? No, it's $15. But people can play this game for like a thousand. Isn't this game online? It has co-op. If somebody wanted to like, I guess, farm with me. <laughs> Come to my farm. Even though my farm is kind of, I don't know. It's pretty meh. Oh no. Sorry, I suffer from stick drift. And sometimes I click things I don't mean to. At all, come back, come here. So if you see it going haywire, it's not totally my fault. I'm not that crazy. This thing's just kind of crazy. Also, what happened to all my cave fruit? I could have sworn I had more. Cave carrots. Wind spire? No. Forest sword? No. Oh, an ancient seed. Hmm. Put you back there. Small magnet ring. Okay, I just have a bunch of shit to sell. I have another scarecrow. What am I gonna do with all these guys? I'm running out of like, <laughs> I don't even have that much of a farm because it's winter now, so I really have no need for it. Do you know Nalik? I do know Nalik. He was just in here. He's eating dinner with his family now. Nalik's my mod. And streamer help me. Uh, did, what what is this thing? Do not incriminate me. <laughs> I'm buying it and invading your farm, Cammy. <laughs> You're gonna buy it just to come to my farm. Uh, that's hilarious. Come on down. I haven't played it with co-op before. All right, let's see if we can sell some stuff. I can sell that. Uh, it feels like I should be able to do better with an artifact than just selling it. Cause I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do it. I'm doing it right now. Oh, he meant now I used to stalk his stream, but now he stopped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know. Nalik does the stream as often anymore. <sighs> what am I going to do with this thing? <laughs> Invade my farm. He <laughs> don't even know how to play. <laughs> Newbie is my bae. <laughs> oh boy. There's not as much to do though in the winter. I mean, it's kind of like just fish and mine. Oh, a new chick. 
Oh, we got a new uh, Nega Chicken. Um, I'm okay with Nunu. Like I said, I've, I've given up. I used to name everybody uniquely, but at this point, oh, look at my new baby Nega Chicken over here. If you don't look too closely, they're kind of cute. It's a jet black egg with red flecks. I don't know what these Nega Chickens are going to be useful for, but I may end up getting like a whole barn full of them. I can see it happening. <laughs> he had one of them Slunday slow jam voices. Oh, <laughs> all right now. Okay, let's put this away, that away, and the ring away. Oh my God, newbie more bits. Thank you. 300 bits in one stream. Thank you so much. Biddies, 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 biddies. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't talk about me. <laughs> Tomorrow's Linus's birthday. He loves coconut, so I guess we'll give him a coconut tomorrow. We might as well give him what they love. They only get one birthday in the year. See what I mean? Like, these artifacts get nothing. It's got to be a better, like, I don't know. Feels like I should be able to get more. My gold axe is ready. Dun, 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 dun. Queen of sauce. Chocolate cake. What better way to spend these cold winter nights than digging your way through a rich chocolate mountain? With my help, you'll be well on your way to creating the finest cake you've ever laid eyes on. Now, you're going to need a lot of sugar. <laughs> I'm sure you do need a lot of sugar. I am sure you do. Who's mailing me? Found some good quality stone. Maybe you can build something with it or something. Oh, thank you, George. It is cute how they give gifts. It's cute how they like teaching me stuff. Alrighty. Now that my axe is ready, it's time to upgrade something else. Ah, and the Lee coming in with the cheers. Thank you. A hundred cheered biddies. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are so nice. It's all because of Stardew, am I right? So yeah, these are my little animals. They're cute. You gotta say hi to them every day so that they love you and know that they are loved. Including my nega chicken. He too needs love. He's trying to top me. <laughs> I'm sure it's not a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's hope there's a quest for me today oh right we got to get our coconut for linus honestly it feels like i should give him some cloth or something like mm, okay no coconut in there uh oh i hope i have a coconut if not i'm gonna give him a cloth because i'm pretty sure he should like that it's cold out here <laughs> Newbie shall not share the spotlight. Oh, look. We can hopefully. Nice. Nice. All right. If you see little wigglies on the ground, let me know. Those little worms are hiding secrets. <laughs> Newbie back at number one on the cheer board. Let's see. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. 200 to catch five sh sardines. See, the problem is, is like, I don't mind catching sardines, but like, I have to, like, I don't know. Like, I have to specifically dedicate a day to doing it. Oh, you're starting to read a book? Look at you coming up in the world. What else was I going to do today? I don't even remember. I never feel like I had much family as a kid. Yeah. You're kind of rude to him, so I could see that. Uh, Let's see, let's go give, what's his name, his... Oh, right, I know what I was supposed to do. I lost sight. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go get our golden 
X, and then we're gonna make a golden hoe. And then a golden trash can. Dun -da -da -da. Oh, Nalik is coming in hot. 300. Oops, one by one point. <laughs> Ooh, Nalik is bad. <laughs> Let's get this golden hoe. Oh, this golden watering can. We got the golden hoe though. <laughs> We've got a cheer war, you guys. Oh my god, I did not ask for this. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I can't keep track as easily. Hold on, hold on. Where are we? Okay, so newbie is in the lead at 410. Nalik at 401. You guys stomped poor Salt and Sea at 100. <laughs> Thank you guys. We got more to donate. I'm gonna donate this here. <laughs> I could go all night. Oh man, <laughs> that sounds like a threat. <laughs> Let's see what our new reward is. A skeleton. I get all kinds of random shit from this guy. I don't want that stuff. I want useful things. All right, next up, we'll give Linus his gift. <laughs> Newbie solidifying his space at the top at 420. <laughs> newbie with the challenge I can go all night oh no <laughs> um okay we're gonna go to Linus I'm gonna let them handle it oh uh, Nalik clearing out the bank with an extra 89 biddies thank you guys so much for all of the bits and all the cheers You're welcome, bro. My old friend, the Glimmering Boulder, has moved on. It may not seem like an important change, but it's to me, it's a big change. I'm happy for the old rock to see more of the world, though. Oh, wow. I didn't think of you as being friends with the rock, but, you know, I guess, you know, being homeless, you can make friends with all kinds of things. Malik at 500 on the cheer board. Where is some glimmer? I want to pan some damn... Oars. Why are they making this difficult? Oh wait, did I see something? I see Shimmer. What I get? What I get? Ooh, Iridium Ore. Is this how you get Iridium Ore in this game? Let's see if we can hit that. Uh, not quite, but close enough. Yeah, got some Shimmer. So we need iridium ore to like max out everything. Okay, this is not the fancy. There we go. In there. With the money. Come on, give me whatever secret fancy fish is in here. Are you guys still going? <laughs> I can't keep up. Newbie with the 570. Nalik conceded with the GGs. Thanks for all the support. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> uh, that was a terrible throw. Uh, that wasn't that great either. No. Further. There we go. In the. Po oh, and then it's gone. Oh! No! Okay. Huh, huh, huh. Don't be flinchy. You are the master, not the fish. Woo, we got it. Jeez, aggressive fish. Any more shimmers? Because is this like a once a day thing? Like how often am I gonna have to come here? Cause I'm gonna need like 10 of these things. Actually, I'm gonna need like 50. So now I gotta keep my eye out for shimmers and wormies. 
That's the new mission in this game. Ugh. <laughs> Thanks for all the bits. 570 and 500. That's quite a lot. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'll put this one next to that. I'll put that one on there. And we've got our golden axe back. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in this house. Feels bad, man. Like I had like all of these cutscenes going on when I wasn't streaming. Now I'm not getting any. Hey there, Gammy. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Of course you were. Are you doing okay at that place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? You did a fine job, of course. I wonder if I can make anything useful for farmers. I know, you love me. It's fine. This bro stays at his computer. Also, he has two computers. Hey, don't let me stop you from getting your work done. If you aren't busy, I don't mind if you stick around. Mm-hmm. See, these guys like me. <laughs> Why you the go go can be cheer song? In Stardew? Go, go can me. Go, go, go can me. Getting all the dudes and all the girls. <laughs> so, so you can see my status. Everybody loves me. Everybody love me. Right. Sebastian's right here. He's at the max where I can get him without literally being like, hey, yo, I want you to be my dude. So I've made it as far as I can right now on him. And most of them actually. So maybe we can run around and give some gifts today. We're getting pretty up there on most of the people. Yeah, but why not? Let's go get some gifts. I'm trying to establish more cutscenes. Maybe my desire for, aha, cutscenes. Oh yeah, because I gave Linus his birthday gift. So Linus is the resident homeless guy. He lives in the tent in the back. Uh-oh. It's not much food out here, though. Is he going to ask them for food? Oh, it's Linus, right? Haha. <laughs> Thanks, newbie. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for making my night with all the bits. Are you hungry? I can make you some lunch. How about some leftover cave carrot stew? That's very nice of you, but no thanks. I've had great luck foraging today. <laughs> okay. Mary Linus, he's smexy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Cammy, you look like you have something to say. I do. I'm just pleased that Linus is doing well. I'd like to invite Linus to live on the farm with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. That's a yikes, bro. I, whoa. Your character wants him. Whoa. Um. No, I, I don't want Linus to live on the farm. Um, is he gonna help me? like uh fuck it let's do it linus you want to live on the farm wow you want to live on the farm bro come on down that's really generous what a great idea i can build a real cozy house for you linus and i'll pay for it you'll finally have running water heat roof of your head just like the rest of us isn't that wonderful linus Robin over here. Okay, so you guys think Robin is like ready for this? Robin is here because she knows I'm gonna have to pay her to build this man his house. So she's all over it, the idea. She's like, fuck yes. We need to build him one right now, I order. <laughs> so that's why Robin is so excited. That And plus he won't be lurking around their house anymore. So she's all for this idea. Uh. Um, no thanks. Ah, Linus denied me. What? <laughs> Look how surprised Robin is. I appreciate the kindness. I really do. But I've told you before, I choose to live this way. I like to be alone most of the time. I like the quiet sounds, moving with the rhythm of nature. It's a way of life that I'm comfortable with. I don't ever want to change that. Stood up by an old homeless man. Ah, I guess I never thought about it that way. Cammy, I cherish our friendship very much and I know you do too. 
But you don't need to try and help me. I know best how to live my own life, okay? It was just an offer, bro. You don't have to take it so personally. Can you smell that? It's the sweet aroma of ripe berries. There ain't no ripe berries. It's the winter. Wrecked. <laughs> well, I guess that wasn't the answer. Whoops. Well, that happened. I got stood up. <laughs> There's nothing else to call that. Yeah, yeah. He, he totally denied me. How are we doing on the Linus? See, oh, and me and Linus are besties, and he still denied me. Ugh, the pain. Damn. Maybe I was supposed to say I'm glad Linus is looking well. I thought, you know. I feel like it's a reasonable offer. I have a pretty big farm. You gotta spit better game, bruh. <laughs> Shoot better shots. <laughs> oh man, dang. I feel lucky kind of bad. I really got rejected, guys. That's my first reject in this game. Nobody's rejected me this far. <laughs> I got so much fish now. I'm gonna have to make another fish basket. Ugh. We're gonna have to make another. Okay, we're gonna have to make another one of these just for fish. Do I have enough in here? No, it's only 13. Oh, let's make another one because there's just so many fish. At some point, I'm going to have to start organizing it based on whether they're fish for the, like, the ocean versus, you know, all these other kind of fish. All right, we'll put this fish, that fish. I think I've already put the largemouth bass in there. <laughs> Dang. That's not the cutscene I was expecting. Oh, I got played. Shoot better shots. Cammy got rejected. This big ass farm, I'm all by my lonesome. Put these in there. I think there's a shrimp somewhere around here. Wait, what just happened? That's not what I meant. Everybody in there. All right, so I'm gonna take... Oh, the winter root. You should be in there. Also, a large part of this game is honestly just trying to stay organized. Trying to remember where all your shit is because you got so much shit. <laughs> okay, we can put the gold away, the iridium ore away, and the fire quartz away. Oh, now we have, don't have any more space for anything. Hmm. Oh, no, we do. Okay. All right. Let's go give gifts to people. Let's go be fucking Santa Claus out here. Well, it's a little late now. Let's see if we can catch everybody. We're gonna take one of those. Um, what's her name like these? What's his name like that? I'll take that and we'll take a bunch of coffee. Maybe a leak. And that should cover just about everybody except for that little girl because I don't know what to give her. <laughs> leak, <laughs> no leak. <laughs> You're right. Um, she liked daffodils. Oh, she liked the apple. Here, she could take an apple. I'll take a pomegranate and an apple. And we'll take one more thing. Some monster loot. All right. Let's go deliver some gifts. <laughs> yep, there's leaks in the game. Honor, <laughs> obviously. They were thinking about Nali. <laughs> of course. Um, we, uh, well, hmm. I have a gaming play day with my twin. Oh, nice. What game are you guys going to play? All right. For, for you. You're welcome. Goodbye. 
I still need to figure out what some of these people like, though. I, you know, like, I don't know what everybody loves yet. Though, you know, a whole bunch of them, as I've already shown you, love me. Overwatch? Nice. I really do need to, like, actually practice with shooting games. Like, it's, it's kind of embarrassing at some point. <laughs> Not being able to play some of these things well. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. All right. Where do these people be kicking it? I'm just wondering. Because they don't be in their houses. Lee is not home. So I definitely know that I've been playing this game too much. Because when I first... Aha! You, child. Take that. Penny, I don't know what she likes. At this point, I know like every character. That's how I know I've been playing this game way too long. Ah, she loved diamonds. Of course she did. These These girls. Come here. I've given her two, no, not Jazz, her. Not not Jazz, Penny. There it is. Eh, fuck it, okay. Well, I'll just give Maru her gift another day. It's hard to like give every, it's okay. Aiming takes a long time to develop. Right, doesn't it? Um, I don't know what this lady likes, do I? See, I don't know what everybody loves, and it's kind of annoying. She's just like shit that I give her. So she gets coffee. He gets coffee. Um, Sam? I forgot. <laughs> what this dude like? I'm trying to get him to like me, damn it. I'm trying to get him into my, like, top top right now. Uh, what's his name? Sam. There he is. Ah, pizza. Hmm. I could go buy you pizza, but I don't feel like it today. So we're gonna take this coffee. I hate working at Jojo Mart, but how else am I gonna make money in this town? Yeah, this town is way too small. I couldn't be happy here. Like there's too little option of what to do. Oh, I see you worms. Ah, damn it, I don't have my hoe. Ah, I can't dig it. I see them there. They're taunting me. You see the wiggles? Hmm. Can't do anything about it. My hoe's in the shop. Let's see who's here. Lots of people. Marty gets fucked up in here. It's nice of you to show up. It's a, a little more lively now. See, she only talked to me. Where my hoe's at? <laughs> Um, she only talked to me when old dude's not here. As soon as that guy shows up, she don't want nothing to do with me. She don't even pay attention to me at all. Take it. So yes, coffee is my go-to for pretty much everybody. I need a little warm me up to be ready for another cool night on the ocean. One for you. One for you. And you, you wanted to try this. Oh, why are you giving me your garbage? What, you wanted to try it? This man, Shane, sent me a letter like, hey yo, strange bun sounds interesting. If you make one, let me know. I make one, well no, I found one and he wanted it. Shane's so edgy, I want him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there's Abigail. There's your uh, goth waifu. What's she doing out here? She likes pumpkin, by the way. I seriously love this camera. You're the best. It must be nice not having to worry about crops this time of year. It kind of is low key. And that means you can hang out with me more often. See, these girls are starting to flirt now. See, the guys were much more overt in their flirting. Like other ones was talking about like, we can go on a ride on my motorcycle. Um, what else did the other one do? Like they were, they were just more overt. I feel like the girls are much lower key. Like one girl had some weird dream sequence that I was a part of. And I was like, okay, that's weird. This girl talking about we can hang out more often. Haley, she's been more like aggressive, the blonde, like frilly one. So I'm like, hmm, the girls are starting to like warm up to me, I guess. It's interesting though that the game made them all like bisexual. 
<laughs> At least I find that interesting. Um, nothing else to do now. I give in a bunch of gifts out, but not everybody. Still missing some people. That's because some people, if you don't catch them when you can, it's kind of over. So you can give two gifts a week starting Sunday and you can give people things that they love or things that they like or things that they hate. Like I just gave Shane something he hated. So now he might not be as cool. Well, no, he's still, I guess he's got too much love for me at this point, but he didn't like the Joja Cola. He definitely hates quartz, but, and then he hated <laughs> the strange bun, even though he's the one that told me how to make the damn thing. But whatever, I digress. It's fine. Um, we've got this for Elliot, that for Sebastian, and this for the two old people. I mean, go to sleep. I have this giant thing, which <laughs> it's just kind of creepy to have, not gonna lie. It was Linus's birthday, gave him his present. We are good for the night. Damn it though, he rejected me, you guys. He was, I offered to let him live on my farm. I mean, he could have still been in nature and just been on my farm if he wanted, you know what I mean? Rather than behind their house. Damn it, I kind of wonder what would happen if I would have said, I'm glad Lionel's lo looking, Linus is looking well. I don't know. What would have happened? Crystallarium, the amazing machine can create infinite copies of any kind of gemstone. Displace the gemstone you'd like to copy in the machine, let it do its thing. It might take a while, but hey, that's pure profit. Yeah, I got one of them things, and things is amazing. I don't know how to make one though. I have it making, I have it pumping out diamonds for me. See, it has another one there just for me. Pumping diamonds, that's all it do, all day. Ah, she gave me the ice cream recipe. Thank you. Now I can get that little girl to like me, damn it. This recipe of mine won first place in a cooking competition. All right, how do you make, oh, there's more people want to talk to me. What's up? One of these days you should come to my room after dark, maybe around 8 p.m. I want to show you something. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is a uh, salmon's girl, Abby, huh? Oh. What does Abigail want to show me? I gave her that pumpkin and now we don't know what we didn't start it. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is kind of why I like the game. Ha, <laughs> boobs, right. I already got my own. <laughs> I don't need another girls. Uh, we'll see what she wants. Should I have another pumpkin for her? Shit. Have I given her two gifts this week? I haven't. She can get another pumpkin then. Um, let's give our kid a snail if I run into him. <laughs> Four boobs is better than two. <laughs> that, that, there is math involved in that. Let's see, who am I still working on? Oh, I've already given her two presents. Pierre likes, I don't know what Pierre loves. Oh, no, I tried giving him sashimi. He only liked it. I don't know what the hell Pierre likes. Harvey, though, he likes coffee. Easy breezy. I don't know what Pierre wants. Let's see how to make this ice cream. Wait, I've given her ice cream, but she didn't love it. She only liked it. Damn little girl, what do you want from me? I've given her ice cream. She was just, nyeh. She liked it, but nyeh these people she does like cake good night Nalik thanks for all the bits appreciate you hanging out I appreciate you being a mod as well even though thankfully you haven't had to do too much modly duties I do appreciate you having you um what else what was I doing I was doing something I've totally blanked out wait 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 wait, wait. what was I doing oh I know what I need oh I know what I was doing we're gonna make that little girl some cake. Damn it. I think I might need something else though. No, I don't. 
damn it. <laughs> Something bothers me about making her cake. Um, we can make a pizza for Shane. Oh, we're gonna need some more tomatoes. Maybe we should make another pizza. Need some tomatoes? I can get tomatoes. So basically winter is all about surviving off of what you've made in the past. <laughs> But it's nice because now that I'm not necessarily trying to make money, I actually have a ton of everything. Or, well, maybe not everything, but a ton of a lot of things. I'd kill for pizza right now. See, you're just like Shane. He's a big fan of pizza. So let's make one more pizza. Don't you wish you could just instantly cook like this? Wouldn't that be amazing? Bam. All right, what else did I want? I'm going to give a girl a cloth. We're going to go say hi to our animals today. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? All good. All gravy. How's my new baby nega chicken? Also happy. Damn, we got 10 of these things. Holy shit, these eggs are not kidding around. Um, well, now I kind of want to get a nether, like a, a little evil egg here just to see what happens or how much they sell for. Well, I guess I can already find out how much they sell for. How much do you sell for? 356? That ain't money. Look at my bunnies go for 4K. Like, my bunnies are way more expensive. Even my ducks. Oh, well. Don't compare me to my father. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> triggered. <laughs> we'll get some cloth for... Uh, What's her name? So you know we're gonna go to old girl's house tonight, right? Though I have to get in there before they lock up. So we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, let's see if there's a quest for us today. There will be no boob touching. Um. Ugh. I keep finding them now and I don't have my thing. I think he's still working on it. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure he's still working on it. Yeah. Still working on it. I need my golden hoe. Shane is a typical, what anime girl? It's not like I like you or anything, Buck. <laughs> You're talking about Abigail. <laughs> Shane's a dude. Though Shane don't really know what he wants, <laughs> to be honest. Hi, you. Already giving you your two? Good. Goodbye. No, I met Shane. Oh, you actually met Shane. All right, well, I'll give him some pizza. Maybe he'll start to like me a little bit more. Looking for a frozen tear. Sandy? Really? Ah, damn it, I don't want to go all the way out there. All right, let's dish out some gifts today. Abigail is too friendly to be like that. <laughs> I guess she is fairly friendly. Hello, you. You look like you could use some coffee. You already had your gift? Oh, I see. See, some people are, you see all the time, so I kind of forget that I've seen them all the time. Ooh, fancy. Is he in his house or? Oh, cutscene. Oh, he got skills. What's his name? Elliot. Everyone enjoy the smooth sounds of Elliot on the keyboard or piano. Applause. Ah, I thought someone was there. Mm-hmm, showing out. That was wonderful. Thank you. I'm not very good, but it's fun to play. Mm-hmm. I've been 
working day and night to try and finish my book. It's been driving me insane, Cammy. He already finished his book. We went to the reading and everything. Okay, sometimes these cut scenes don't be going in the right order. We already finished the book. I'm wondering how it sold. An occasional tune is the only recreation I allow myself. There's just too much work to do, and my bank account's starting to run dry. Sometimes I wish I could just throw it all away and become a farmer like you. I mean, if you need work. It's just as hard to be a farmer, you know. Come live on the farm. I can use the extra help. Girl, why are we just fishing for people to, like, work, live on this farm? We cannot have the whole town. But I don't want to say it's just as hard to be a farmer. That sounds rude. But what if he actually chooses to live with me? That'd be weird. Guys, what is with these? <laughs> that sounds like a proposal, right? I'm not trying to propose to this man. I'm just, you know, here for moral support. I don't want to say it's hard to be a farmer. Do you think he'd actually come live with me? Oh, God. He'll I'll probably get rejected. I already got rejected by a homeless man. I can't be rejected by anybody else. What's he going to say? Oh, my God. I don't know. Seriously? <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Uh it sounds wonderful, but I can't give up on my novel. It's already halfway done. <sighs> Sorry, I'm complaining like this. I just need someone to talk to now and then. I got to tell these people, pimping ain't easy, all right? Like, <laughs> shit. Hello. Breathe deeply, do you notice it? That's the smell of the sea. Whenever I smell the sea, it reminds me of my youth. The ocean really impressed me as a child. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, you like pomegranates. Here you go. Thank you, this is a beautiful gift. You're welcome, bro. Good luck on the novel. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop seeming like I'm so desperate to have attention because, you know, letting everybody try to live on my farm is clearly too much. Do you like this? No, okay. There's rumors of some very rare fish in these parts, but only an experienced angler could stand a chance against them. You'll need the finest bait you can get if you want a rare fish to bite. Well, how do I get all that? How do I do all that? Can I go into your house? It's off limits, boo. I thought we were friends, Willie. We're friends, look at you, you got five hearts. What else do you need? Anywho. Farming definitely isn't easy, though. I fully agree with that. Oh, what you doing over here, bro? Wait, no, no. This is for you. The saloon can get pretty lively at night. Mm-hmm. It sure can. I'll be cutting rugs and shit in there. Penny! I'm not giving you a second diamond. That's doing too much and clearly trying too hard. Okay, great. Old people, how are we doing in here? A leak for you. Hello, can I? Oh, want to watch TV with me? Oh, the old man is really warming up to you, girl. Look at him offering to let me watch TV with him. That's like as good as he can get. This is absolutely marvelous. You've made an old lady very happy. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make spring flower shapes in the spring. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. What's going on here? The leak for you? <laughs> Leaks for you. Um, that dude sadly wants like a full breakfast and a salmon dinner, which I think is doing way too much. All right, who else do I owe another gift? Robin and Linus. Alex. Uh, let's go up to Sebastian. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> yes, he wants a salmon dinner. So he kind of wants to eat you. That's kind of awkward. Because we got to go be at Abigail's tonight and see what she wants to show us. There she is, always stalking my guy. 
Another year is almost over. It goes by so fast, doesn't it? Yeah, I kind of do, actually. Um, I don't know what Robin likes, but she's going to get this coffee. You're always welcome to visit, even if you aren't shopping, you know. It can be pretty lonely up here in the mountains. Oof, that took a turn. Spaghetti? Is that what Robin likes? I do have animals on my farm. I don't know what that's got to do with you. I really love this. How did you know? I should learn how to cook. That would be useful. <laughs> that would be useful since you're trying to live your life in the city and whatever. Where's Maru? What is she doing? Track her down and give her her fancy ass diamonds. Hmm. I swear, sometimes these people just be like wherever the hell they want to be. And I'm like, excuse you, you have a place where you're supposed to be. And they don't be wanting to follow. Like sometimes Mara would be chilling there, but she's not. Sometimes Haley be chilling over here, but it's winter time, so nobody wants to be anywhere. Hmm. Gotta track these people down. Oh, look, it's you two. Um, I don't, so this one wants fish tacos and I'm just not in the mood to do that. Here you go, kid. You're not as boring as most grown-ups. I know, I know. That's something else I had to look up when I played since they do have patterns. They do. And sometimes I'd be like, where is she on a Thursday at 3 p.m.? What else does she have to do with her life? <laughs> where does she think she's going? Also, Haley doesn't do shit. She don't go to the bar. What else does Haley do? There she is. Here you go. Oh, you already had your gifts. I see. Um, I would give you the cake, honey, but... I'm gonna give that to the little girl and I don't feel like making another one. So you're gonna get coffee. Even though I am trying to get Haley to like me more too. Haley's almost at that eight star status. So I'm trying to get basically everybody to the max level of love. <laughs> that is the current plan. Or at least the current mission. Cause I don't know what happens when everybody's feeling you like that. It's hard to get fresh food in the winter. I bet your farm is pretty well stocked with food, huh? Are you trying to tell me that you're hungry? Because you're getting coffee. Take this coffee. Goodbye. No, okay. Just checking to see if there's a cutscene there waiting for me. All right. Is Jazz here? Yes, she is. Hello, little girl. Miss Penny is teaching me how to write in cursive. She has such pretty handwriting. I bet she does. Oh no, I've given her her gifts. I forgot about that. Ah, damn it, I could have gave other girl this thing. Oh well. All right, we've pretty much given everybody their two gifts. The main one left is Sandy. And I couldn't even find Maru. I don't know where the hell she was. You've already gotten your two gifts. Abigail likes cake too. Does she? This is surprise me. She's always like, how'd you know I was hungry? I'm like, damn girl, how much do you eat? <laughs> um, I kind of want to go, well, okay, what do I want to do? Abigail was easy. She loves amethyst and I had a lot of them. Oh, Emily too. Emily liked um that Jill or that gem a lot. <laughs> Um, well, I didn't find her. I've got pizza and a diamond, and that just makes me feel weird. Hmm. Oh, maybe I should have tried to go say hi to Sebastian. Ah, I need my hoe back. Those worms are laughing at me.
Let's see if we can see. Have I given Sam his second gift? I might have. I don't think so. I don't really see Sam that often. Nope. Only problem with the horse, you can't fit through all the crevices that I'm used to going through. You know, like I kind of lost some of my shortcuts. Sam home? No, he's not. Where is he? Is it too early for him to be at the bar? It's Thursday night. They all have kind of like their weekly spots to be. Have I given you your second? Well, fuck it, I don't care. Here, there you go. There he is. I know what he wants. Bam, pizza. Oh, good. So yeah, his dad just came back from like the war. So thankfully he's finally getting used to it. That's good news. I'm glad to hear it. You already had your gifts. <laughs> Look at that smile. Oh, Shane, you're finally starting to come around. You like talking to me? I guess I believe you. Maybe you're as weird as I am. You'd be surprised how weird I am. Especially trying to be your damn friend. All right, you've had your second cup. All right. But Leah, have you had yours? Before I walk all the way over there. Yes, you have. All right. It's 7 p.m. Let's go wait outside Abigail's spot like stalkers. Or maybe I should be inside? I don't know. Because usually I don't think I can even go in. No. I can't even go in after a certain time. So I feel like if I wait too late, I might... See, sure ass is asleep! Did you see that? The girl just went to sleep. Ah. <sighs> She just went to sleep. Girl, what do you have to show me? Wake your ass up. Let us all read her letter again. <clears throat> Abby, one of these days you should come to my room after dark, maybe around 8 p.m. I want to show you something. I come at 7.40, she is asleep. Are you gonna wake up and show me something? Whoa, look at that. Hey, don't even think about it. That's private. Whoa, she, look at her getting angry. She has a guinea pig. Should I leave and try to come back? Because I'm pretty sure they don't let me in after 8 p.m. You can try it, though. She told me to come this late. There we go. Hey, I was hoping you'd show up. Mm -hmm, woke the hell up. I want to show you something. What you got? What are these? See this? It's called a spirit board. Oh God, we're about to Jumanji this shit. Have you ever used one? Hell no, I haven't. Oh God, we're about to call on the spirits. Put your hand on the planchette with me? Uh-uh, now the spirits will guide us toward a... Look, it's moving. I don't see any movement. The first letter is I. Next is heart. Wow, look at it go. It's spelling out cat. I heart cat. <laughs> Did she just break it? Oops, accidentally knocked over the board. <laughs> it's just a silly game. It doesn't mean anything. I am um, have something to do. You'll have to go. Sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs> Awkward leave. Alrighty. That's fun. She really has a Ouija board. Wait, where the hell is she? She's not in here anymore. Yeah, it's a spirit board thingy. She's not even in here and she can still tell me not to look at it. Someone tell me where she teleported to. Well, 
well. Anywho, that's it for today. We'll go, hopefully my hoe is done tomorrow. We'll go give, we'll do our, oh shit, my fishing request. See, I always forget about the fishing. I always forget about it. Like, I mean, catching sardines isn't that big of a deal, but you still just gotta remember to do it. And I just forget about it <laughs> a lot. Alrighty, and sleep. Hi, kitty. And that's another day down. Sometimes there's even cutscenes while you sleep. I haven't had too many of those though. Mostly just that witch. <laughs> that was the like the main cutscene. There was a witch and then there was a fairy. So I've had both the good or the nice and the, I don't know. Is she mean? Is she bad? I don't know. Okay, my hoe's ready today. Nice. Oh, Abigail, she showed up to my house. Hi, Um, I just want to say sorry for acting so weird yesterday. You probably understand what happened. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> you showed up at my house at 6 a.m. to tell me that? Picked up this recipe overseas. Enjoy. Want to say thanks for making me feel welcome. Super meal. Cammy, I'm creating an enchanted staff of phenomenal power. Moreover, I'm missing something. An iridium bar. I'm willing to pay five times the market value for it. Bring it as soon as you can. Uh, that means I'm gonna have to, like, mine and shit. Because I only have three. I'm gonna have to go pan. Hi, yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. My two nega chickens. Seriously, though, what I'm gonna do with the nega chickens? I could have a whole barn full of nega chickens. Maybe I won't make any more than three. Three seems like enough. We can kind of have maybe three of everything: three chickens, three ducks, three bunnies, three nega chickens. Hello, barn animals. Goodbye. All right. So yeah, it's actually kind of nice not having crops because I don't have to spend all the time doing that. But the only problem is, how much are you guys eating? A lot. Only problem is, is like, I don't know. I just don't have as much to do. Oh, look, more worms. Okay, we're gonna go get our damn. Ah, but it's not open yet. Okay, well, today we have to give out, we have to give, what's her name, the frozen tear. So that Sandy likes us. That's today. And he wants an iridium bar. That might take a minute. Let's go up to the mines. Let's see if there's uh, some iridium. I guess that's the only place you can really get iridium. Ah, more worms. They taunt me because I have no hoe. Looking for shimmers? Mm, no shimmers, but I guess we can shoot, try for this fish. Wow, okay. Can I even, I can't hit that angle. There it is, yes I can. Uh, I needed a warm up fish. Huh, huh, huh. Come on, bro, we're almost there. Stop playing games. Got it. Sturgeon aggressive. Ooh, they're fast. 
They weren't kidding with how quick they can bite in the little circle. Perfect. I'm just saying I'm money with this aim right now. <laughs> Not that it's very hard to aim in this game with the, well, no, I guess, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate you guys for hanging out. I'm getting kind of tired, but we gotta milk this little thing for all it's worth, because it might be the only time I get to see some of these good things. Okay, looks like it's the last one. any shimmers I don't know how often they come you know what I mean like are the shimmers more of a once a day sort of deal is it multiple times a day if I just hang out here does does it just appear maybe Also, we haven't talked to Linus since he denied me. Let's go say hi. Hey, Linus. Who doesn't want to live on my farm? The trees go to sleep during the winter. It makes it a bit lonely out here. But I wouldn't deny them their beauty sleep. That's one way to think about it. I can't walk that, can I? I didn't think so. It was interesting though, hearing him say that he was sad that the boulder left because he was friends with the boulder. I was like, hmm, I didn't see that coming. Uh, let's go to town. Let's get the hoe. Thank you. And let's get out of here. Let's go find those wormies. That taunt. Where were they? There you are. Not what I wanted. The hoe belongs here. Huh, just clay. Not exciting. And I think I saw one more on my property. And then we'll go to the other area. Back to my bus stop. Thank you, horsey. There you are. Nope. And was there one over here? Did I make that up? All in the way. Maybe that was a different day. Oh no, they are here. Hmm. I mean, it's nice to have a marker for where to do this at, but I was really hoping for more interesting things. I mean, I have gotten um, something for Gunther, some artifact, snow yam. Looks like that's all the little worms on my property. They weren't as obvious to see, or I wonder if I even unlocked them before, but I definitely didn't see them when they were in, well, I don't know. I guess maybe they're just easier to see in, oh, right, I gotta buy a ticket. Well, if we're gonna go see her, should I give her something? I don't know. What would Sandy like? Uh, has she toned me what Sandy likes? Her friend is Emily. I don't think Emily's told me anything about Sandy, though. Hmm. Think she'll like a truffle? Who doesn't like truffles? Truffles are delicious. All right, let's buy a ticket. Go say what's up to Sandy. Sandy! 
Like poor burnt thing. Hey, so you saw the notice I posted. I really appreciate it. Here's your payment. You wouldn't have much luck farming out here, honey. Well, unless you were a cactus farmer. Hmm, true. Do you have different stuff during the season? She does not. She only sells the same thing all year, huh? Oh, she also has clothes, though. Don't know what I'm gonna do with those clothes. Like, you know, I'm not that interested in having, like, a full wardrobe in this game. I just hope she knows how expensive it is to see her. That's all. Ah, but I think with that, everybody, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. I love how it's the desert over there, but it's still snowy and winter here. My loyal horse waiting for me. Um, I think I'm probably going to head out soon. I'm not trying to give him a gift. I'm just trying to talk to him. I've never been married. I have no family. All I live for is to be mayor. Is it worth it? <sighs> that was dramatic, sir. You can definitely have a wife. Marnie is down. Winter route to Demetrius. Do I have a winter route? No. Okay, let's go get deliver his real quick and then we'll stop. <laughs> See, this is how I never make it anywhere in this game because I'm constantly like, okay, I'll just do this and then stop. And then I don't. And then I keep going. And then I'll be like, but I'm going to do this and then I'll stop. And then I don't. I keep going. This is how I've spent so much time on this game. Oh, I live for side quests. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what my problem is. It's ridiculous, honestly. But there's something addictive about this game. Well, at the very least, I'm going to have to play all the way until the, at least the next year because I need the fiddle fern, fiddlehead fern thing. Unless maybe they'll have it at the night market if I'm lucky and then I can finish that, finish the community center off and then feel like I've accomplished at least like, I don't know, one of the main points of the game. Is he home? He is home. Who just walked past me? Like they, and didn't say shit. Hello, Cammy. You brought me the item. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Here's what I owe you. Thanks for stopping by. I need to think about some other something other than lagoons for a while. So, what have you been doing lately? Huh, that sounds interesting. Huh, we had an actual conversation. I mean, I don't know what I said on my side, but we actually had a conversation. My parents were bewildered when I told them I wanted to be a carpenter. They were pretty old-fashioned. Hmm. That's pretty dope to me. Seriously though, which one of your kids was that that just walked past me like they didn't and didn't say shit? Okay, now that I'm actually looking for them, these little dudes are everywhere. Hmm. Maybe they went to the town. Alex was here. Where's everybody going? See what I mean? Like, I don't know what he does up there. Hmm. Alrighty. I think we're done. Okay, let's get, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, an iridium bar is gonna take a while. Um, I could just, oh, Sebastian. Um, I could just buy what I need to make it. Oh no, I think I'm too late. I think he closes at four. I think I just missed it. Yeah, he closes. Up. Well, I didn't just miss it. I kind of hell and missed it, but I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it closed at five. He closes at four, so I had no shot. <laughs> yeah, no, he definitely wouldn't cut his hair. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's Friday night. That's when all the cool kids come here. Everyone stares at you if you look different? Oh man. That's gotta be kind of annoying. And then they dance. After they finish staring at each other in their eyes, maybe? staring at each other's eyes. He's waiting for Marnie. There she is. Ooh, stop by my cabin if you want to huddle under one of my quilts and drink cider. Yeah, these people definitely are way friendlier to me than they used to be. For sure. Alrighty. I think that's it for today. We've already talked to Alex. We've already talked to basically everybody. As far as our brownie points, we're pretty much almost max than a lot of people. Sam, we're just like one step away from getting him to max. These people down here, they're they're a bit of a struggle. Like, I don't know. They're just they're just tougher. Mara, just gotta give her some more diamonds. She'll be alright. So yeah. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate all of you guys for hanging out. We're gonna take her to sleep. I'm gonna try hope well, maybe maybe I'll sleep too. <laughs> it is kinda late. And this was a nice chill stardew day. I'll see you guys in the next one.